Hello. <clears throat> What's up, everybody? I think dogs should be able to vote. Um. Hi! No one's arrived yet. But that's okay. Oh. Okay, I'll play some mini game until. How do we do? How do we do it? I'll play some mini game. Oh, you're here! Hi! I want to do a magical miracle girl Mona me real quick. Um, well, you, I haven't, we haven't unlocked the next yet. Um, well, you either decide who we want to talk to or if anyone shows up and also has an input. So get ready. I forget what button to press. Now I don't forget. I remember. <clears throat> How are you today? My friend. Hello. Thank you. I got a new diaper. I'm okay as well. My body is not the greatest condition, but you don't need to be in the greatest condition to party. Sleepy? Yeah, me too. Fuck you. Not you. These little, little apple, applebees. Mm. That is something I can call them. I guess it's a tree because her she has a stick. Is that what is happening in this game? Cool powers, me. Who are you thinking of talking to for our free time? <gasps> I thought I had work today, so I was kind of just sitting around waiting for a response that never got one, so I assume it means no work. Well, fuck yeah. That sucks to be like, to not know what the plan is and to be waiting around. I hate that shit, but I'm glad that you can um, relax and enjoy some wholesome, family-friendly gaming adventures. Get some more energy, Monomi. Drink some milk. Barbed wire bat? Hell yeah. The waiting was whatever, but at least the rest of the day will be open for good times. Frick yes. Party, party, party. Relax, have fun, enjoy. Final wave. Oh, I got so many items. That's the power of playing a lot of times. Fuck this dude. Get his ass. Uh oh. I'm too tired to get his ass. Maybe Ibuki? Or is no. If we get more than one chance to talk to someone, I think of a backup. Okay. I would love to speak to Ibuki. Oh, or Pekko. Okay. <clears throat> I will not vote. Lest it would reveal a spoiler. Not saying that it would. I forgive you. Bonk. Bonk. Bonk his ass, me. Checking in on how the cat will behave in the stream today. Oh, I can do a flip. Um, unsure. He seems kind of grouchy. But I gave him a lot of food to have at his leisure. And hopefully he will have it at his leisure. Maybe. I have no I think I'm just doing more damage to him when I step on him. But maybe I should do a bigger attack. Fuck! Fuck my dude. Yay, I did it! 
<gasps> got him, got him. Wahoo, wahoo, wahoo. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm king, I'm king. Wahoo! Fuck yeah, dude. This game is fun. I thought it was not as fun. And I love her theme song. Yay! Power up! I wish she could. you could see different outfits and stuff. I would love to save my current progress. Da, 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 da. Okay, continue! Yahoo! <clears throat> okay. Wait, first let's check the map. Well, first, let's check our little friend. Um, I need to move the chat window a little. Okay. Let's give her a present. What do we have much of? Chocolate chip jerky? There you go, babe. Aw, she happy. Okay, let's see where the our little queen is. <gasps> Here. Where is she? Just standing around? Okay. Um, whatever. There she is. Perfect. Hello. The way I tied my hair today is so not cool. My charm is my best feature, and now it's gonna disappear. What should I do? Should I hang with Ibuki? Well, yeah. You think it looks the same as usual, right? Then I shall indoctrinate you to the secrets of this hairstyle. For the sake of indoctrination, I was forced to watch Ibuki style her hair. It feels like Ibuki and I grew a little closer. So cute. Angel, angel, angel. Let's see. Do we have any light music club girl items? I believe we did, but I cannot remember. Evil, Hope's Peak, Jurly, Tips and Tricks. Oh, headphones. Let's do it. Why does Hajime want to know what Ibuki wants? Jeez, this is bad. I might end up falling in love with you. Ah, yes, yes. What? Jeez, hurry. Hurry up and choose me. Um, what? Um, um, were you ever in any school clubs? School clubs, huh? I can't say for sure because of what happened to our memories, but I probably wasn't in any clubs. Yeah, that's a major bingo. What is? Well, isn't it obvious? You should be part of Ibuki's music club from now on. For a while, everyone thought music clubs were outdated because the rock and roll boom was dying off. But now, music clubs are super popular with boys for some reason. We should jump on the bandwagon too. But I'm not really into music. No problem. You can just pretend you're playing an instrument while a music track plays in the background. That's not something the ultimate musician should say. But even if I'm pretending, I've never even held a musical instrument. Everyone starts at that point. As long as you feel the love, there's no problem. What do I have to do if I don't really feel the love? Oh. It's okay. Jamming out is so much fun. You'll be po you'll be so popular with the ladies. Chicks go out with guys who pretend to be musicians all the time. Hajime By the way, Ibuki thinks guys who don't like bands are narcissists, so she doesn't like them. <clears throat> that isn't something the ultimate musicians should say either. Yep, yep. Now choose the musical instrument you want to use. Ugh, Ibuki has dibs on the guitar, so you can't use that. Looks like I've been roped into her scheme. I guess I really have to choose something. I've never played any type of instrument before, so it doesn't really matter. I think Hinachan is a keyboard guy. Then maybe the keyboard? You can play the keyboard? What a surprise! What? No, I've never even touched one before. It's easy to tell if you're faking at playing the keyboard, so that's a no-go. What's next? Do I even have a choice here? Well, then bass, for sure. I'll use the bass, then. Oh. Nope. Denied. Why? I thought it was fine as long as I didn't pick the guitar. Oh. Mm, you might stand out too much and steal Ibuki's spotlight. She's supposed to be the main event, you know? What a selfish reason. 
I've never played any type of instrument before, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> then I guess the drums. That's awesome. All right, it's decided. Drums are great because you can just hit them to the beat and you don't even know how to read music. As long as you can move your arms and legs independently of each other, even a novice can play them real easy. Every drummer in the world would hate you for saying that. Now that we've decided on an instrument, let's start with learning how to use a loudspeaker. Hold on a second, why would you need a loudspeaker? Isn't she just an angel? What are you saying? It's a must-have item for live performances. It doesn't mean you just hold it and scream into it. If you don't put your soul into it, the loudspeaker won't respond to you. Yeah! Put your soul into it! Shout! Shout! I was forced to do some weird training that didn't make any sense to me at all. I didn't really understand Ibuki to begin with. Hold on, I'm putting a pillow on my chair because my back hurts. But with this, I don't understand her. I don't understand her even more. Yahoo! I parted ways with Ibuki and went back to my room feeling exhausted. It's still bright out. It's not like I feel like staying here and doing nothing. Maybe I should try going somewhere. Okay, who's next? <clears throat> That's me singing along. I did it really good. You just gotta check in on her, you know? Pekka! Okay. Map. I love being able to see where everyone is. Oh, that's Chiaki. Ob. <gasps> Wait, I want to see how Komaid is doing. Real quick. We don't have to talk to him, but I just want to um, see. <clears throat> I just want to take a look. Nagito is tied up beyond this point, but I don't want to see him right now. I'm not mentally prepared for it. I shouldn't go inside. Okay, fine. Fine! Peko! Running around, running around to see if we can find our good friend, Peko Yama Peko. She's our best friend, yes, she's our best friend, yeah. We're best friends with. There she is. Hello, best friend. What is it? Do you need me? Hold on. Just gotta figure out the best places to put um, my windows. The lankiest boy there ever was, literally. I would love to hang out with you, Pekoyama Peko. Sure, I don't mind. However, I don't know if I'll have anything interesting to say. I spent time today discussing various things with Peko. I think Peko and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give her a prezi? Yeah. Isn't she just a freaking angel? Let's see what items that we have. No. Tissue, dip pen, bar, hair pin, broken wand. Hmm. Oh, maybe the sheath? Should we give her the sheath? Since she likes swords. I'll wait for your consent. Okay. Um, by the way, today our island beverages are ice water and Snapple peach tea that I'm almost done with. That's in a plastic bottle and I don't like that they are in plastic bottles now. I was like, come on, dude. Is it really acceptable for me to receive this? Yeah. No, I will not question your sincerity. Thank you, Hajime. She's happy! It's cool that we're hanging out, but we're not really talking about anything. Hey, Peko, do you like Kendo? Oh. Yes. Th this conversation isn't progressing. Um, is your house a Kendo dojo? Sort of. S sort of? 
Is there something wrong with that? N no, I was just wondering. Peklo's stare is really intense. It might be best if I change the subject. Um, let's see. A topic that probably won't offend her too much. Ah, I know. Peko, what level are you? Are you talking about my kendo level? I don't have one. Huh? Dojo trainees typically learn levels corresponding to their years of training. Thank you, actor of the century. However, I have no need for that. Her hair is so cute. I love her. I would do anything for her. Why? Don't people normally aim for that kind of advancement? Yeah. I have no such aim. My, destina my destination has already been decided. Protect who I must protect, cut who I must cut. That alone is the original purpose of the sword. Wielding a blade in its truest sense is my aim. That is my reason for existing. To achieve that, I have no use whatsoever for meaningless levels determined by arbitrary rules. I see. Pekko isn't just a typical kendo athlete. She truly is the ultimate swordsman. How could I ask such a foolish question about levels? I don't really know much about kendo. But I think you're really cool. You're kind of like a samurai. Samurai. Really cool? You say such strange things. N no one has ever said that to me before. Um, well, thank... Never mind. She seems very awkward. Is she blushing? However, because of the path I've chosen, there are things I've lost as well. Warm, irreplaceable things. What did you lose? Fluffiness. Fluffiness? There are things that are warm, fluffy, and soft. The cat that came to visit the dojo, my childhood friend's dog, and even the finch I had as a pet. But all animals can sense my menacing presence and run away from me. I just want to touch their soft fur and fluffy feathers to my heart's content. Uh, I see. That's really painful. I'm really surprised. I thought she was going to talk about an event from her past or something. Oh, then what about asking Gundam if you can touch his hamsters the next time you see him? Him. He might be able to help you out. He probably knows a way to keep animals from running away from you. Mm. I see. You do have a point. Also, since his hamsters are called the four dark devas of destruction, they might not get scared of me and run away. I should look for Gundam right now. Her eyes look scary. I think Gundam's hamsters might actually freak out. Oi. Hajime, thank you for your advice. If you'd like... Please come talk to me again. Goodbye. Pekko walked off in a hurry. She must be really desperate to touch something fluffy. But based on this, I feel like I was able to significantly close the distance between me and Pekko. Next time, I might be able to talk to her normally. Yahoo! Angel, indeed. I decided to go back to my room for now. <clears throat> Ahem -hem. Drink your water, everyone. Ding dong, bing bong, baby. <clears throat> oh, emergency, emergency. <laughs> Students, head over to Jabberwock Park as fast as you can. Come on, hurry up. Whoever gets there first, I'll treat you to my special made curry rice tomorrow night. Come on, hurry the F up. Uh-oh. <clears throat> curry rice, huh? It feels like I haven't eaten that in a while. Wait, who'd actually fall for that? I don't know what he's planning this time around. But there's no way I can ignore it. Jabberwork Park. Again, huh? Let's get out of here. First check on our friend since we walked. I have to keep her tidy. Thank you. Ugh, I'm sorry I'm such a slowpoke. I'll have her head over to the park right away. But I'm not being slow on purpose. I tried to leave my cottage as soon as I heard the announcement. Ugh, I tripped again. I must get a lot of hate for making excuses like this. 
People are probably thinking, if you have time for that, then hurry up. That girl, she tripped again. She's seriously so pitiful. I think she's perfect in every way. We're gonna run in case we meet any friends there instead of using our magical teleportation powers. She's so funny, I'm so glad you think so. I love her so much. I forget which direction everything is, but we'll learn in time or we won't at all. The two options. Central Island, baby, yeah. <gasps> Level up, wahoo. My troll shirts. I was thinking about doing Minecraft later today after this, but I will probably have to take a break. Follow my schedule. Boo. Uh oh. Yahoo! Yahoo! I'm the first one here. The curry's all mine. She totally took the bait. Indeed. I wonder what kind of curry it is. You too. What's the scientific term for when you get hungry after you hear the word curry? You guys are fucking stupid. Don't get worked up over something so idiotic. Hey, where the hell is Monokuma? Get out here. Okie dokie, thanks for waiting. Thanks for the miracle of waiting. Hey Monokuma, I was the first one here. That means I got dibs on the curry. No need to no Ooh. No need to rush, no need to rush. I'll properly treat you to my special made Monokuma curry tomorrow night. M Monokuma curry? It's an extremely delicious curry made from unknown meat, wilted vegetables, and a mysterious brand of rice. I can't imagine anything delicious based on those ingredients. No worries. It takes skill to make curry nasty. That is truly a nice line, but it is meaningless. Now, Monokuma, let us hear what your business is. However, you should know I, the Supreme Overlord, have very little time to spare. Understand? If this is something... Oh. If this is something foolish, know that I will feed your remains to these beasts. Huh? Huh? You haven't noticed yet? The reason why I summoned you guys. If you look closely at this part, you should be able to notice. Huh? Uh -huh. What is this? Ah! Oh, isn't this an arcade machine? Boo, boo, boo. That's correct! So, I would like the long-awaited recreation time to begin. Don't tell me. You're gonna tell us to play this game? Hey, what's the game? What games are on this? She's totally into it. She's breathing really fast. I've only prepared one game, but it's truly a gem. After all, it's a game that I personally created. Huh? You did? Then it is not something I could possibly look forward to playing. No, no, don't compare it to those amateur fan service games. You know, that famous game that everyone's been waiting for a sequel to? Well, I made a brand new game instead. F famous game? Now then, I shall present it! Ta-da! Oh, he's speaking. Ta-da! The name of the game is Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. What the heck? That's pretty lame. I want to play games about riddle solving for professors or collecting cute monsters. Stupid. Don't say such silly things. What if we get weighed down by all the quarters? Twilight Syndrome is an adventure game series. The first one was released in 1996. It's about a group of high school girls who go exploring in order to verify numerous urban legends. The player controls the character like a side-scroller. I have no interest in weak things like video games. And I don't even know what, a gener what generation a game that old is. With your face, I find that hard to believe. 
But adventure games are boring and tedious to play, right? Agreed. Don't diss adventure games. Besides, there's a lot of reasons to make one. You know, like budgetary reasons. Man, and I was a big fan of this series. I don't know why, but I feel like you've totally tainted the series. Shouldn't you be tainting your face with tears of gratitude? Okay, I've cast a spotlight on a neglected title. And what's the point of this game? Hmm? I mean, it's not like you're telling us to play it just to enjoy it, right? Boo, boo, boo. You certainly noticed the good part. <coughs> That's right. This game is going to be your next motive. The motive you need to kill people. After all, I'm going to get bored if the next Blacken doesn't show up soon. This game is... the motive? In truth, this game's theme is a missing link. You know, it's a recurring theme for mysteries, right? It's kind of like a hidden connection. Well, what does that mean? If you're interested, then try playing it. Okay. You can't. You gotta say no. It's a trap. Hey, if that's the motive, won't it be okay if we just don't play it? <laughs> that's absolutely right! You're quite the genius! I see. That never occurred to me. But, are you sure you want to do that? Learning the motive means you're going to be prepared, you know. Humans who are prepared, and humans who aren't. I don't have to tell you which is strong and which is weak, right? What do you mean? For example, if someone secretly played it, that person might come and kill you. In the context of a preemptive strike, that's truly fatal. W what do you mean? You guys are all enemies, you know? Is it really alright for your enemy to have an advantage? If you're going to just ignore it, then do whatever you like, even if you're fully aware of the situation. Bye bye! What the heck? Hey, what should we do? Even if you ask me, there's no way I'll know. Anyway, it would be dangerous to carelessly touch this game. There's no mistaking that. You are right. It might be better if we wait and see how this plays out. But wouldn't it be bad if someone secretly played the game while we're waiting? Whoever gets the motive would become the hunter and the rest of us would become the prey. That's a messed up way to think about it. But it's true. <sighs> it's your loss if you end up dying. All we need to do is kill if we want to win. I don't want to end up like Byaku or Teru Teru. After Fuyuhiko spat those words, we watched him turn and walk away. But Fuyuhiko makes a good point. You too? What are you saying? Do you really want to kill someone that badly? It's not like that. I mean, how can you be cautious if you don't even know the motive? That... that might be true, but... It doesn't matter. Huh? Motive or otherwise, it doesn't matter. I won't let another killing happen. I will never... Oh. I will never, ever, let another killing happen. Ding dong ding bong. Oh, Chiaki. My good girl. It's already that time, huh? It's better if we just break for today. I'll try to think about it tonight more carefully. The correct thing for me to do. But regardless, I will never kill anyone. I mean, it's impossible. M me too. It's definitely impossible. Then, we should turn in for the day. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Burdened by uneasy thoughts, we all went back to our respective cottages. But still... That was totally unexpected. 
I can't believe she said actually said something like that so forcefully. I will never ever let another killing happen. She's probably dealing with this all in her own way, but uh, I feel sleepy. I should go back to I can't read her at all. She's just a very good sleepy gamer girl. A motive to kill someone, huh? Is doing nothing at all correct? Or is it trying to stop it from happening while being aware of the danger correct? There's no way I'd understand something like that. It's very windy. If you hear any like weird clanging, it's the wind messing up one of the lights in my house. I think the mic won't pick it up, but just in case, that's what's happening. In this messed up world, there's no way I can know what's right. Even though he doesn't move his head back and forth anymore, I still do it. You don't know how tough it is to be successful. I'm so jealous of people who aren't successful and don't have anything. <gasps> Wind twins. The biggest obstacle to challenging new things is definitely your past success. Those always hold me back all the time. I'm so jealous of people who don't have anything. People with no expectations sure are happy. I mean, they can do anything they want without worrying about anything. Man, being successful is tough. No. Oh! I'm sorry. Ding dong bing bong. Take a drink of our tropical drink. Good morning. Good morning. Wahoo! I wish Monokuma would wake me up and put me to bed every day. I should go to the restaurant for now. There are five, I believe, on each island. So we should look for them sometime. Maybe when we unlock the last one, we'll go on a big hunt. As if by habit, I left my cottage, and I just so happened to bump into a certain someone. Huh? huh? Hmm? Oh, it's you, Fuyihiko. A lot of DDBB today. Good day for DDBB. <sighs> How unlucky. I have to see your face this morning. Just so you know, I don't want to talk to you at all. I'm in a really bad mood right now. It's not like you're going to the restaurant now, right? Were you planning to go somewhere else? Like I said, I don't want to talk to you. I'm just going back to my cottage. Leave me alone. You say you're going back. Did you go somewhere? Hey, didn't I tell you I don't want to talk? Is it that game? What do you mean? So it's true. What do you have in your hand? Hey, what's that envelope? What's inside? Shut up. What makes you think you have any right to question me? I'm not trying to question you. I was just... Are you saying you don't like the fact I acted on my own without consulting you guys? Is there something wrong with that, huh? Are you gonna tie me up like Nagito? Seriously, I didn't mean... Don't talk to me ever again. If you do, I swear I'll fucking kill you. That guy. He's gonna be dangerous if we leave him alone. I should let everyone know. But I should be careful not to make too much trouble. That's true. All of your classmates are crazy. Or field trip mates. Not Mikan though, she's normal. Or Hyoko, she's normal. Gundam's normal. Sonia's normal. I did see Fuhiko earlier, but it seems he isn't going to join us for breakfast today as well. I have some things I'd like to think about. I'm going to go for a little walk. We gotta check out everyone who's hanging out. <gasps> My love! The wind is very quiet. I do hope it's not an ominous portent. Okay. Not here, though. The wind's crazy here. Apparently, Mikan has never played video games before. 
she's totally missing out on 90% of her life. Well, you know, values vary from person to person. <gasps> Hajime! Please listen to me! What? Chiaki taught me how to play a video game. She was so nice and attentive. And, and she even battled against me. <laughs> I'm so, so, so happy I was able to play with a friend. <laughs> thank you very much, Chiaki. You don't have to thank me that much. I had a lot of fun, too. If you like, do you want to battle one more time? Y yes! Yes, please! Mikan looks extremely happy. I guess Chiaki has a sweet side, too. I love her. I'm so happy you do. That makes me so happy. Aren't they such cute angels? Oh, my girls. I really love everybody except for the couple characters I don't love. Ah, nice timing. I've been waiting for anybody to come by at a time like this. Waiting, huh? Um, I was thinking about delivering this. Is this someone's breakfast? Ah, is that for Nagito? I mean, if we leave him all tied up, he's gonna starve. Like, how long are they planning to continue this? Well, there's no way we can t keep him tied up forever. Oh. Yeah, that's what I thought at first, but maybe it's better if he was tied up forever. Hmm? What does that mean? I actually went to see Nagito earlier. I kindly brought him breakfast. Oh. And then, listen to this. He seriously pisses me off. He said he doesn't like rice, so he wanted toast instead. Doesn't he understand the situation he's in right now? So that's why you're running back and forth. That must be hard for you. Hard? Do you really think so? Then bring this to Nagito on my behalf. Huh? I was forced to run back and forth too many times. I'm done being his maid. And not only that, I just remembered that I have a little business to take care of. Business? So, thank you. I'll leave the rest to you. Mahinu pushed the tray into my hands and ran away before I could object. Jeez, it's always something. As I recall, he's tied up at the old building where the murder took place, right? Yahoo! Let's go see our best friend! I really want everyone to love him as purely and wonderfully as I do. Let's talk to the Goyles first. That's Nagito's food, right? You should feel honored that Mahiro asked you to bring him that, so you better feed him quickly. She says that like she, he's a pet. That's kind of harsh. Hey, what are you doing? You kind of forced this on me, you know. Don't say I forced you. You're the one who agreed to do it, right? Anyway, I have some things to do, too. So, But Hyoko said, Hajime, you're in the way. Mahiru and I are going to go to the supermarket right now. We're going to get candy for each other, right? I know, I know. But don't cling to me like that. It's hard to walk, okay? Then can we still hold hands? <laughs> yep, of course. But I really can't spend too much time with you, okay? I have some things I need to take care of. Aww, mm. so boring. Then let's ditch Hajime already and go. Oh, whoa. Then let's ditch Hajime already and go. Well then, Hajime, I'll leave it to you. Hyoko is totally attached to Mahiru. They kind of look like sisters. I don't think that's what it is. Oh. Man, it's so unlike me to sleep in. Oh, what's with that tray? Are you gonna eat somewhere with a nice view? Hey, don't tell me. You're not gonna have a picnic lunch with Miss Sonia, are you? It's not even lunchtime. This is breakfast for Nagito. Oh, I see. Sorry to trouble you with taking care of him. If you really mean that, wanna switch with me? Well, that's obviously a little awkward. I'll let you handle it, Hajime. He, he totally ran away. Yeah, he's a puss. No. Oh. no, no, no! This old building is being renovated! You can't go inside! If I'm not allowed inside, why is Nagito inside? Hawa! You know about it too, Hajime? Because Nekomaru and Kazuichi earnestly told me that Monomi is the only one we can rely on. And it's true that Nagito needs to reflect on his actions. I came here to deliver food to Nagito. It counts as murder if he ends up starving to death, right? S to starve? 
it's okay to go inside then? Y yes Make sure you tell him to chew thoroughly before he swallows. I love her so much. I want to purchase every merch of her and surround it in a circle for me while I meditate and I, f I feel. So Nagito's tied up at the back. Instinctively, I gulp back my dried saliva. Take, why don't you take a drink, Hina-chan? Like I just did. <clears throat> Why am I so nervous? Pushing aside my nervous tension, I vigorously open the door of the dining hall. As I quietly peeked through the door, I saw him on the other side. He was waiting for me with a big smile on his face. Hajime? <laughs> ah, could it be? Did you take time out of your busy day to bring some food to little old me? Wow, I'm so happy. As you can see, I can't really greet you with my full hospitality, but feel free to relax. He was the same as usual. Unlike his smile, his words carried a certain heaviness. As if a black poison was falling from his mouth every time he spoke, filling his surroundings with darkness. An illusion, but one I couldn't help feeling at that moment. Huh? What happened? Your face looks kind of scary. I didn't come here to talk to you. I just came to bring you some food. So come on, eat it. Huh? You're not gonna feed me? What do you mean? Well, I can't eat it on my own, you know, since my hands are all tied up. He's so quiet. Speak up, baby. Actually, I was really embarrassed to ask a girl to feed me, so I'm glad you're the one who came. Oh, I get it. Friggin' Mahiru. That must be why she asked me to go instead of her. Anyway, what happened to Mahiru? Did she leave saying she had some business to take care of? Huh? Why do you know that? By the way, I heard about Twilight Syndrome murder case, was it? I have mixed feelings. I really like that game a lot. Don't change the subject. I'm asking you. Oh well. I'm a little disappointed. It's not like you ultimates to ignore the threat that's standing right in front of you. So are you really planning not to play the game? Do you think Monokuma will just let that slide? Well, that's... You guys should confront it. After all, hope springs when you confront despair. He almost sounds reasonable. Running away from your problems isn't a solution. I'm just putting it off. But... I don't want to be tricked by you anymore. Bye now. Uh, hey, Hajime? Weren't you planning to feed me? Hey, Hajime? My bestie! Damn it. I barely talked to him and I'm already not feeling so well. But I really can't stop thinking about it. Is it really okay to leave that game alone? 
Well, I'm doing nothing about it. Someone else is... No, nothing good can come from thinking about it. There's something else I need to do. And it's free time, I guess. Who should we hang out with? Check on our little buddy. And we have five little points. Yahoo! Hum, 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 hum. Let's see. Who have we not met yet? Let me look at my list. Bing, 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 bing. Mahiru, Hyoko, Sonia, Mikan, Kazuichi, and Fuyuhiko. I wrote their first names because it's in the game and it would be easier for everyone to know, but I'm like, who's Kazuichi? I know who he is. He's Soda. My. Fucker. <laughs> yeah. Okay, friend of the show, who are we hanging with? Let's talk to... First, let's leave the room. There's my little head. Hina John's head. You can't get closer. Who have we not talked to? We have not talked to Mahiru, Hyoko, Sonia, Mika, mm, Kazuichi, Fuyuhiko. Although I'm guessing. Kuzuryu will also not talk to us as he also went, um, fuck you, I never want to speak to you again. My angel. Oh, well, let's see what we got that they might like. this rice who likes rice everybody okay so we have a camera we have a weird a couple of weird cursed objects Sonia would like those um, mysterious vibrating thing slap bracelet radio soda would like that I think and if you want to talk to him, you can. I won't stop you. Free time? Let's do Sonia. Okay. My angel. My Sonia in all of Danganronpa is the character that I am most like. And that's true. That's my personal fun fact. There she is. Go here. Wait, where? Library. Running, running with Hina-chan. Look at him go. He's so good at running. Ha <laughs> royal. With his beautiful long legs. He is a star. Japanese television shows and games are really popular in my country. There are even citizens who took the time to learn Japanese so they can play imported games. What should I do? Should I invite her to hang out? Invite Sonia to hang out? Thank you for the invitation. However, what shall we do? She's so cute. Let's all think about it. Do you want to go to New York? Sonia lectured me about how amazing Japanese quiz shows are. Even though I've never watched a single one. I probably don't deserve it, but it looks like Sonia and I grew a little closer. 
What would you like to give her? Let's give her that evil jewel. I love goths. Wait. Let's read the details. Yes, okay. Death. I was like, is that even evil? May I really have this? Thank you very much. You are truly kind. I must say, this island is truly a wonderful place. The weather is calm and the sea is blue. Truly a perfect resort setting. That might be true, but... Oh, did I say something strange? No, I was just thinking that you're strangely calm right now. Sonia, are you really not worried about our current situation? Of course I am worried, and I am also angry. Jeez, this is not something to joke about. Who is joking? However, what happens next depends on us. As long as we do not kill anyone, this will all be fine. That's the right attitude, but... Besides, I have come here to learn about your country. I would understand if this were my homeland, but in this case, this land is foreign to me. I do not intend to kill anyone, and I do not intend to be killed easily either. The way she said that sounded a little dangerous. If this were my homeland, so would this be okay in your country? <laughs> anyway, let us forget about killings and cooperate with one another so we can return home quickly. If you have any good ideas, feel free to let me know. I shall also do my best to think uh, of something too. Yeah, you're right. When I speak to Sonia, I somehow feel really positive and optimistic. <laughs> Such an honor. Raise your head. There is no need to worry. What she's saying sounds odd, but she certainly looks the part. Typical of a princess, I guess. Ah, uh, that reminds me. What was the name of your country? As I recall, the country's name was Novoselic. It was the Novoselic Kingdom, right? Mm -hmm. It sounds as though you finally remember. Well, it's not a country I've heard of. Yes, that is understandable. It is often overlooked by cartographers. Our Novoselic -like Kingdom is an extremely small country and governed by an absolute monarchy. Though the population is small, our economy is thriving, so we are not in dire straits at all. For generations, the royal family has protected the kingdom and its people from its neighboring countries. Thanks to that, the people still have complete trust towards the royal family. And also, wine and chocolate is one of our country's hidden specialties. I see. It really does sound like a kingdom. So, since you're the princess of that kingdom, does that mean you live in a castle or something? Hi. Of course! The royal family has been living in the royal castle for over a thousand years. Though I'm, it may be old and small, the castle is truly a wonderful historic building. Of course, it's easy to get lost in our subterranean labyrinth, and our barracks are fully equipped as well. So castles really do have those. Um, anyway, is it alright if I ask you something as well? Hmm? If I can answer it, it's fine. Who did you have your heart set on initially, and who do you intend to switch to later? Huh? This situation is truly very similar to the story of seven men and women. I believe it is a standard tactic to start wavering and swapping partners. Um, hold on. What are you talking about? Do you really have no idea? It is Japan's legendary drama. It starts off really upbeat, and then it gets seri really serious. I never expected that to happen. I was all like, seriously, what is going to happen? I just could not take my eyes off the screen. <laughs> Momoko's feelings at that time were... My goodness, so intense. I continued to listen to Sonia extensively talk about Japanese dramas. At least now, I totally understand what she's a... I totally understand that she's a major J-drama fangirl. Yahoo! After politely excusing myself from my long conversation with Sonia, I left the area. It's still light outside. There's still plenty of time left. Maybe you should try going somewhere, or I should spend time with someone. Who's next? Mahiru, Hiyoko, Mikan, Kazuichi, or Fuyuhiko are the people we still have not spoke to. Of course, you are in charge. You can double up however you feel the need to do that. Check on our little guy. Let's give her a prezi. Let's give her hard tack of hope. 
Yay, okay. If he won't speak to us, then who? Because he might be pissed. Obviously, Komaeda. You silly. Gundam. Sonia. Yeah, it looks like we can't find him. Mahiru? Okay. So unfair. Oh, she's right there. Just double checking. I want to talk to him. My little baby. My little baby. <sighs> incredibly, incredibly mean for no reason. Short blonde people from Super Danganronpa 2 is a very good character trope. There are exactly two characters that fit this trope, but they're really good. It said she was out. Yes, okay. I'm gonna take some photos for a change of pace. Yeah, let's hang. Are you planning to follow me? Well, I guess it's okay. Just make sure you don't get in my way. I spent time with Mahiru while she silently snapped photos. It looks like we grew a little closer. Yeah. Okay, what do we have? Blue Ram. The coffee. Choco chip jerky. Hard tack of hope. Potato chips. Viva ice. Natural salt. T-shirt. Dress. Binding. Silver ring, hopes peak ring. I think if we gave her anything slightly romantic, she'd get pissed off. Tips and tricks. Um, pho machine. Okay, this is a... Should we give her this weird camera? Electrical field camera? Since she's a photography queen? Or maybe she won't like it. But it is a camera. So, your body, your choice. Because that's what that means. Okay, we're trying it. <clears throat> oh, hell yeah! Is it really okay for me to accept something that's amazing when it's not even my birthday? What should I do? I'm really, really happy. Ah, Hajime! Stay there, right there. Hmm? Okay, say cheese. Just kidding. Click. The shutter just went click. I guess Mahiru wanted to take a picture of me. No shit, my love. Well, I guess this is good enough. Yep, that sure is a dumb looking face. Dumb looking face? That's only because you took my picture so suddenly. Just so you know, it's not like I want a picture of you or anything. I swear to every god who's listening that that's true. This is just a record. You don't have to go that far. But what kind of record? A record is just a record. I want a record that right now we're all living together in this place. We're living together. It's pretty simple, but in this kind of situation, it's easiest to forget that, you know? So I decided to make a record of everyone each day so we won't forget. Oh, she's so sweet. <laughs> That's pretty much the only thing I can do right now. I see. That's a good idea. I seriously wouldn't have thought to do something like that. Mahinu seems like a pretty solid person. But taking picture of guys isn't fun, so I guess it'll be fine if I only do that once every three days. You're already contradicting what you just said. Want you commendable? It's so awesome that your priorities are in check. What does that mean? Hmm? More importantly, we've got this blue sea and white beach, but that weird stuffed animal just ruins it. No matter how beautiful the scenery is, if the subject's face doesn't stand out, Ah, uh, I know. If you ever see Monokuma again, capture him. I can take pictures of Monomi just fine, but he sees what I'm trying to do every time. One day, I'll definitely capture him with my viewfinder, and it'll be world I'll be world famous for landing such a huge scoop. <laughs> well then, I'm busy, so I guess I'll see you later. After controlling so much of the conversation, Mahiru suddenly changed the subject and walked away. Was she angry or something? Did I say something weird? She just hates you, that's fine. This is bad. I have no idea what's going on. Yahoo! Best friends! 
I should return to my room at once. Okay. Post haste. I must go to my bedroom. Ding dong, bing bong, baby. <coughs> <laughs> This announcement soothes me. I put my trust into him completely. Good night, Monokuma. <sighs> On any other night, I'd probably just go to sleep. But I can't stop thinking about that game. It's not like I believe what Nagito said. It's just not a good idea to leave it alone. Twilight Syndrome murder case, huh? I should give it a try. Just a little. Just to see how it is. Okay. Whatever you say, Hina-chan. Uh-oh. She's caught. Huh? Where are you going at this hour? The Monokuma announcement was just made. Well, you know. What about you? What are you doing? I was a... Ooh. I was about to go back to my cottage. Anyway, what about you? What do you mean you know? Uh, um... I felt a little hungry, so I was thinking about getting a snack from either the restaurant or supermarket. Mm. I see. So I'll be going now. See you later. Hajime. Huh? Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. I feel like she totally saw through me. She did. You dummy. <clears throat> this track rules. Okay, everyone. Running just in case we see anybody else on the way. I love to talk to my friends. What can I say? I'm just a guy who loves to talk to his friends. Oh, there's one now. No, I want to talk to my hero. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Hajime. Mahiru, what are you doing here? Uh, yeah, about that. Um, I was thinking about taking a picture of the ocean at night. The ocean at night. Isn't it dangerous? Be careful. Thank you. Yeah, sure thing. Bye. She seemed pretty agreeable. Usually she'll say something like, mind your business. That's probably what she was doing and not anything else. Nobody is being suspicious on this evening at all. No, stop it. <sighs> Girls who don't remember how to run. In real life or in games or... Having fun. <clears throat> I want to go the full time, but my throat is scratchy and it's peeing me. Oh, I should have some tea after. But it's a sunny day. It's windy, but it's sunny. So here I am. If the game turns out to be dangerous, I'll just stop playing it. So I should just go for it. Okay, let's do it. Let's go, baby. I guess for now, I should try playing it a little. I cautiously stood in front of the arcade game, and the screen automatically lit up. As I faced the screen, I put my hand on the joystick. Monokuma Soft. Licensed by Monokuma Inc. Warning, this game is a work of non-fiction. Any resemblance to real persons living or dead is purely intentional. <coughs> this game has a strange, old-fashioned vibe to it. I wonder, is the person who's controlling Monokuma actually pretty old? <laughs> or maybe the people that made this game are pretty old? Oh well, I should try to start it up. Drink some water, everyone. 
or finish your peach tea. It'll start if I press the start button, right? Yeah, stupid. Yay! Second day. Girl A. Ah, it's already late. I'm gonna be late for our meeting. Everyone's waiting. I gotta hurry and go. If I'm late, everyone's gonna hate me. Oh, I should be. Well, we'll see. Um, they're waiting in classroom 1A. Can she run? Yes. Man, you're finally here. You're so late. What were you doing? Uh, I'm sorry. If you're angry, I'm sorry. Uh, um, don't be mad. We're not angry. Just hurry up and get over here. Uh, okay. I should go talk to girl B for now. Um, we're here because you had something important to say, right? What's this about? Obviously, it's about yesterday's incident. Hey, you already saw the newspaper, right? Y yeah Huh? What newspaper? God, you're such a slowpoke girl, eh? It's in today's evening newspaper. This one. Here you go. <coughs> Just read it. July 8th. At around 6 a.m., a janitor from XX Academy came to work and discovered the body of a female high school student in the music room on the second floor. The student had been struck forcefully in the head with a blunt object and was already dead. It seems the killer broke a window to escape. Based on the details of the crime, authorities say, the investigation is ongoing and believe someone may have snuck into the school to commit the act. I was a little surprised. I never expected it would make the newspaper. It says someone may have snuck into the school, so they might be thinking that a pervert did it. It is the only lead they have. I mean, her school swimsuit did get stolen too. That sick, twisted bastard. Sneaking into a school to steal a swimsuit, killing a nearby girl, and escaping out the window? Yeah, we're all in danger too! B but is this really okay? We were the first ones to discover the body, and we kept it a secret. It would have been the same no matter who found the body first. Don't worry about it. It's not like we have anything to hide anyway. That's right. All we did was find a body and not report it. That's not really a crime. But still... I know you're a masochist, but there's no way I'm going to get involved in this. Are there any characters that remind you of anyone? I'm finally a student at this academy. There's no way I'm getting expelled over something like this. Right? Isn't that right, Girl D? Y yeah, I agree, but... What's up? You don't seem so sure. Uh, um, I actually have something to discuss with you guys. Girl D, I wonder what's going on. What does she want to talk about? Let's find out. To be honest, I I ended up taking several photos of her yesterday. Are you talking about her body? I thought we might get questioned by the police, so I thought I should take them just in case. Girl D, come on. Be cool. Where are those photos now? I have them. Right here. What? I don't want to look at them. We're definitely going to get cursed. C cursed? Stupid. Curses aren't even real. You seriously need to throw away those photos. Give them to me. Ah, uh, hey. This is bad. If you rip it like that, the curse... I just said curses don't exist. It's better to just rip these photos to shreds and throw them in the incinerator. Girl D. If you have any digital copies, you need to erase those two. Uh, okay. Hey, girl E, what happened? Why do you sound so desperate? N never mind. Let's just forget about the whole incident. We had nothing to do with it, and we weren't the first ones to discover the body. Okay? The end. Seriously, let's just go home already. Come on, it's getting late. Fourth day... Man, it's already late. The hardest part of being in the archery club is changing clothes. Everyone's probably gonna be b probably gone back by now. Then I guess I have to go back on my own. I think this is around the time that incident occurred too. Ah, oh, jeez. 
Why am I thinking about something so stupid again? That's right. I just gotta hurry up and forget about that incident. I won't let you forget. Huh? I won't let you forget. Who's there? Where are you? I won't let you forget. I won't let you forget. I won't let you forget. F forgive me. Forgive me. Never. Never, 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 never. I will never forgive you. Splat, 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 splat. Ah, uh, girl A. What happened? Did something happen? Th this is bad. This is really bad. Uh, uh. Her head is split open like that one time. It's probably the curse. It's the curse. It's all the curse's fault because of the curse, girl E. What happened to girl E? Take a look in there. Classroom 1B. Clatter, clatter, clatter. Game over. Down five. Huh? This is the end? Wait, now it's game over for some reason. I don't get it. Even the game structure doesn't make sense. It started with the second day all of a sudden, and jumped to the fourth day afterward? Why were the first day and third day skipped? And what's with this down five message on the game over screen? Down five? Who's down by five? What the heck is this? I don't get this at all. How would this be the motive? Is this what it's like to play a crappy game? For now, it's a waste of time just to stay here, so I should go back to my cottage and think about it. I went back to my cottage feeling hazy and disoriented. And as I tried to think about why I felt so strange, I fell asleep without realizing it. What could be happening? Life isn't just about moving forward. When confronted by an important question, it's good to stop moving and take your time to think about it. For example, my stomach hasn't felt well all morning, so I ran to the restroom as soon as I got off the train. But right when I was about to enter, an important question stood before me. Life is like that every now and then. Suddenly an important question gets in your way. The important question that stood before me was the gentleman sign on the restroom door. As I resisted the overwhelming urge to poop, I thought about it desperately. Am I really a gentleman? Do I have class? Am I honest? Am I faithful? No. Why am I even hesitating? Of course I'm a gentleman. A regular person wouldn't last five minutes resisting this urge to poop, but a gentleman most certainly would. Filled with pride, I ran into the restroom meant for a gentleman and what awaited me was another important question. The important question that stood before me was the Western style and Japanese style signs on each door. I was definitely born in Japan, but haven't I forgotten what makes clean, beautiful Japan so good? Do I have enough confidence in myself to take a Japanese style poop? I hate talking about shit. As you can see, there are always important questions waiting for you. That's what life is all about. Thank you, Monokuma. Ding dong, bing bong. There really are so many DDBBs today. We've only done an hour 15 and there's been like 60. We love it. I wonder if someone's made this into a ringtone. I wonder if I should download it for my... My morning. We need a DDBB counter. Oh my god, that's a good idea. Morning, huh? In the end, that game is still a mystery. I don't even know why it would be a motive. Okay, for tomorrow, I'll set a ding dong bing bong counter. I should just bite the bullet and try discussing it with everyone. I guess I should have, head over to the restaurant. I would love to leave here. Thanks, me.
Wait. Check Snake and me. She's fine. Mikan. I almost called her girl A. How crazy. Hi, Mikan. Ah, <clears throat> uh, good morning. It's such a nice day today. I'm so glad it's sunny. I mean, if it wasn't sunny, it'd be a waste. Huh? Waste? Oh, it's nothing. I was only mumbling to myself just now. So, I'll excuse myself first. Waste what? Is something going on? No. I can never remember how to run, because I'm what we call adult. Hmm... Hmm. What are you groaning about? Ibuki isn't groaning for some gross reason like Nekomaru does. I'm worried about a more sublime, a more serious matter. And that matter is... Ibuki's music genre from now on. Music genre? I escaped the pop sounds of the girl band genre, so I'm thinking about changing my musical stylings completely. Her face here is so funny and cute and I love her. Ah, I see. But there's nothing that comes to mind. This is very troubling. Hajime, if you think of anything, I look forward to hearing your advice. But is that something you can really decide on a whim? She can do anything she puts her mind to, Pinata. You see why I didn't want to call Asahina Aoi Hina, Hina? Because to me, there is only one. And that is his true name. Good morning, Hiyoko. Doesn't Chiaki get bored of playing the same game over and over again? She's not going to reply to my greeting, is she? I don't understand gamers at all. In fact, I don't even want to understand them. Seriously, everyone here is such a weirdo. Ah, except Mahiru. When I'm with you guys, I feel like I'm going to become a weirdo too. I feel like you already are one. No way, she's super normal. Good morning. Good morning, Hajime. Ah, it's rare for you to reply so quickly in the morning. Mm. Yeah, I just finished playing a game right now. Nene. More importantly, I was just wondering, is someone bringing food to Nagito? I brought him food yesterday morning. I don't know about the others. Is it alright if I see how he's doing later? Eto. I'll head over to the restaurant for now. She's a nice girl. Okay? Okay, everyone? She's freaking nice. And we love her. We love everything that she does. Good morning, Hajime. Yeah, good morning. After greeting everyone, I put some food on my plate and sat myself at a table near the window. What is it, Hajime? Is that all you're gonna eat? You just eat too much, Akane. You want to talk? All you eat is candy. Just because it's candy doesn't mean you should make fun of it. These gummies have four different fruit flavors, so I'm sure they're full of nutrients. You should just eat real fruit. This seems like a bad time to bring up that game all of a sudden. I mean, we did agree before that we shouldn't even play it. Is Mahiru missing? Hmm? After Gundam said that, I looked around the restaurant. And sure enough, there was no sign of Mahiru. She's always here every morning. It's strange for her not to come. I wonder if she is not feeling well. If she just doesn't feel good, that's fine. But there's a small chance that she's... A small chance she's what? Hmm? I saw Mahiru. She was outside the hotel. The... Is really funny, and this game is funny, and everyone's funny, and I love them. Oh, I see. Except this guy. Jeez, don't say such a spooky thing. As punishment, how about you run around in circle three times and say woof and jump off a cliff? Uh, I don't want to die like that. But what was Mahiru doing outside the hotel? She said she wanted to be alone. I even asked her to come eat with us, but she turned it down. Wanted to be alone? M Mimi, she's planning to play that game. What are you saying, pig barf? There's no way Mahiru would play video games. She's not like that slowpoke gamer girl over there. Ah, were you referring to me? I am Pig Barf, aren't I? 
Looks like it's going to be impossible to start talking about the game. And while I was lost in thought, someone quietly sat down across from me at the table. Yeah. Hey, Hajime. Got a second? W what is it? Kazuichi leaned forward out of his seat, glanced quickly around the room, and whispered to me. Huh. Today, 2.30 p.m., come to the supermarket. But don't tell anyone else about it. Huh? I'll tell you the details later. Everyone else can see us right now. It's bad. What does he mean, it's bad? Hey, what are you lowly creatures discussing amongst yourselves? N nothing It's got nothing to do with you, so just relax and go away. <laughs> Did you think I was worried about you fiends? <laughs> you make me laugh. Laugh, I say. You've elevated arrogance to an art form. What sort of supreme ruler feels concerned for the ants who are destined to be crushed? My name is Gundam Tanaka. I am the forbidden ruler who makes even the god of darkness flee in terror. All I desire is silence and indifference. Silence and indifference. I never took him for the lonely type. Anyway, Hajime, that's what's happening, so I'll see you then. Just so you know, make sure you conserve your energy. Huh? Conserve my energy? I'll see you later! What was that about? Instead of talking about games, I received a strange request from Kazuichi, and that day's breakfast came to an end. Yahoo! Um, Kazuichi told me to go to the supermarket at 2.30pm, but what do you mean when he told me to conserve my energy? Well, I guess I shouldn't wander too far right now. A free time! Who shall we meet with? Who is left? I love how I forget every single time. We got Hiyoko, Mikan, Kazuichi Fuyuhiko. But let's see if we can hang out with Kuzuryu. He will probably say no again. Be unavailable. Be missing. But I want to see him. But he hates us because we are annoying. Yes, he is unavailable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone, meaning you, you and me, do a stretch. Hiyoko, okay. Did I miss her? Hello? What? Where is she? Are we not allowed to see her? <laughs> I don't think we can see her. Why? Nothing suspicious was happening. Maybe she's worried about Mahiru? Bing, 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 bing. Was Soda not on the thing either? Gundam. Okay. We probably have something good for him too. A lot of evil items. Oh, maybe we can't go far. We have to stay on this island is what... Um, whatever. We've chosen Gundam! The only man in my life. This music seriously relaxes me. I'm freaking serious. Wait, where was he? Probably not regulations. I'm very good at using my brain. Ranch Ob. Ob? Animal boy at Animal Place. I love him. He's such a good lad. Even if he's a weird freak. Especially if he's a weird freak.
It's extremely quiet. Are the spirits of the earth afraid of something? What should I do? Should I hang out with someone like Gundam? Of course. I praise your good judgment. No matter how many... No matter... No matter how many there are, they'll never be able to invade my surroundings. <laughs> Though you may be affected by my magic instead. <laughs> I was forced to listen to Gundam's story about the earth spirits who tend the land. Looks like Gundam and I grew closer today. Would you like to give him a present? Definitely. It's wondered if his name is spelt Gundam because of licensing, like if they changed it or that, I don't know, do they think that Americans don't know what Gundam is, even though it's on television? Anyway, I approve of the change because um, it's also his hamster and that's funny. Let's see. Maybe they've said it on the internet somewhere. What's something weird and evil to give to him? What's something weird and evil? A sword? War? Oh, a frog! Oh, let's give him a frog or an iguana. Which do you think he'd like, a daughter or a frog? I think the daughter is hilarious, but it's up to you. I just want to look at her. <laughs> she has a little bow. Yesterday I went with my friend walking around and we went to a nursery and there was a flower that looked like little bows. And it was cute. Daughter is so cute. Frog, frog makes more sense. Okay, we'll give him the frog. And maybe we'll have limited options again and we can give them the daughter later. I see. You're holding quite an interesting item there. That item must be beyond your power. You can entrust it into my care for free. That's so funny to think about him saying that about a small frog that Hina-chan pulls out of his pocket. Hold it. If you cherish your life, it's better if you don't come any closer. My magical beasts have a thirst to kill. You mean your hamsters? I thought they were docile animals. Just as I thought. You know nothing. You will know true terror if you look down on them just because they fit in your palm. They are cruel devil beasts that will devour their parents, their siblings, and even their own children. Their territorial totality is frightening. They'll never stop attacking until their opponent is dead. Today's style. Today's fight started when Sandi got greedy and encroached upon Junpei's territory. Junpei was knocked aside and his foot stepped onto Magazi's territory. Then Magazi got angry and unleashed his anger onto Champi. I was able to quell their rage by sacrificing my left hand, but it may not be that easy next time. I see. That's troubling. Could that be the reason Gundam's hand is always wrapped in that bandage? No, it's because he's a nerd. But, you know, maybe. By the way... Do you know which species of my four dark devils of destruction has the largest body? You mean which species of hamster? Um, I don't know the answer. Do you know the answer? Roborovsky, Jungarian, or Golden? I don't even know if these are real kinds of hamsters. I only know hamster and dwarf, right? What do you think, YDC, friend of the show, first time, long time? You get to choose what kind of hamster is the answer. Bing, 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 bing. No idea. Okay. Um, okay. Golden. Okay. Click. Golden hamsters are the biggest species, right? Yes. Oh, so good. You got it. First time, long time? Long time? Genius. Yes, those fearsome demon beasts boast the largest size amongst all hamster species. However, they're also the most docile and are known for being the smartest, too. Other tribes feel no fear. Thus, they give it their all when biting and ripping what stands before them. But only goldens know fear. Thus, they usually do not bare their teeth once they recognize you. 
You're saying they understand what happens when they bite people? That's why you must pay attention to their stress levels when you're breeding them. Hmm, I certainly didn't know that. However, that isn't the only feature of Goldens. They have many other unlimited possibilities. Their fur color, quality, and patterns. You could even say they have unlimited combinations. After much research, the fruits of my labor was about to be born. A fearsome demon beast with sparkling silver fur. A hybrid creature with dominant spots and bands. Gah. But now, all I can do is pray for the safety of the mother and child I've left behind. I don't really understand what he's saying, but he seems to be worried about the hamsters he left behind. You're probably taking care of other animals, right? Um, are those demon beasts okay too? There are no problems in that regard. I have pupils all around the world. I've already given them orders to continue my research into the synthesis of demon beasts. <laughs> they know how to avoid any lethal genetics. They will carry out my will and conduct no atrocious experiments. Beyond that, I've already made arrangements to leave my demon beast to those who I trust. He's crazy prepared. Listening to Gundam makes me rethink how much of a responsibility it is to raise pets. Good! If you have a pet, you should know that it's very hard work. Love, me, and Tanaka Gundam. You will never experience such a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. But if you ever do breed them, make sure you provide plenty of exercise, high-quality food, and a place to sleep. Such, such luxuries mean everything to creatures who only live 1,095 days after they're born. Remember well. After saying that, Gundam walked away. I feel like I got a glimpse of the deep affection Gundam feels towards all animals, not just hamsters. Yahoo! He's so sweet. He's a sweet young man. After seeing Gundam wallowing in sadness, I left the area. <laughs> he just got really sad and then Hinochan was like, this is weird and walked away. <laughs> Looks like it's almost time to meet up with Kazuichi. He told me to come to the supermarket. What's he thinking all of a sudden? And keeping it a secret from the others? I don't want to think about it, but if he's plotting to... No. There's no way someone as carefree as him would do something like that. Yeah, he does seem too um, stupid and silly. He seems like a stupid, silly person. Not that stupid, silly people have never been murderers. Yamada, we remember you. Huh? It's well past the arranged time and there's no sign of Kazuichi. And Teru Teru, God, what a stupid and silly person. All of a sudden, the anxiety I'd been keeping inside me began to swell up like a balloon until... Yo! Whoa! Whoa! What the heck? Don't get all pissed off just because I was a little late. A little late? Oh, I get it. I totally forgot he's that kind of guy. The guy who doesn't mind showing up late, even though he's the one who asked me to come. That kind of guy. Well, it sort of makes sense. So what do you want? Why'd you call me out here like this? Well, you know. Can you do me a little favor? A little favor? I just overheard something. Apparently, it's Miss, it's Miss Sonia's idea for a change of pace. It looks like the girls are secretly planning to go splash around at the beach. It doesn't seem so secret now. Wait, don't tell me you... Yeah. As expected of Miss Sonia, splashing around in the sea is a nice idea. I admire her so much it's shocking. My heart trembles around her so much it's about to burn out. <laughs> so, let's crash it together. But why me? Boy, boy. Well, it's weird to fake a coincidence all by yourself, isn't it? So how about a scenario where you and I go to the beach, and then we run into the girls by coincidence? Huh? Hey, you better not say no. I can't ask any of the other guys to help me with this. Ah. Nekomaru can't keep his mouth shut to save his life, and Gundam is... well, Gundam. Fuyuhiko and Nagito are out of the question. I understand where you're coming from, but I don't feel like going to the beach. Hey! I took the time to prepare your swimsuit, you know. And now you're just gonna walk all over my kind act? You're snapping at me? If you say no, I'm going to bug you about it until you die. There's no way he's joking about that. This is Kazuichi, after all. If I have no choice, then fine. Sure? Yahoo! That's my Hajime! That's how a soul brother should act. So, what do I have to do? Yeah. Well, based on what I overheard. It looks like they're going to Chandler Beach. Chandler. It's Chandler. Could this be any more beach? On the second island. That's why we gotta head over to that diner first. Our plan is to be at the beach before they get there. And we're gonna act like it's just a coincidence. Got it. So I need to go to the diner. Yahoo! I'm getting all excited now. 
Well, that makes one of us, I suppose. Looks like he can't take a hint. I don't like this man because he's a weird pervert. And now he's really showing that personality, so I can say it outright. Okay, let's go to the beach. Ding, ding, da da ding. Ding. What? Is that the beach place? Yeah, that's where we're going. Okay. Not a fan. Yeah. He's a dork. And weird and annoying and leaves Sonya alone. Bum, 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 bum. Level up, come on! Yeah! Let's check on our beast. No, okay. Sorry, I, I check on my beast a lot. No! What the heck are you doing? The plan is to stake out the beach from the diner before the ladies show up. There's no time for you to make a detour. Thanks. Thanks, bestie. Thanks, cool best friend. Alrighty, the ladies aren't here yet. Let's hurry up and go inside. <clears throat> Alright, we're here. Now we just have to stake out a spot and wait until the ladies arrive. Is he sure about this plan? I mean, isn't this a little too stalkerish? Yes! And when are they going to come? Did you happen to overhear that with your sensitive ears, too? Oh. They mentioned something about coming a little after the sun starts to tilt. So maybe around 4 p.m.? It's 3 p.m. right now, so we still have to wait one more hour? <laughs> Always make your move early. That's just the basics, you know? Hey, I don't know if you should be talking like an expert right now. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Just make sure you keep watch by the window. It'd be too bad if you didn't catch Miss Sonya on her way to the beach, you know? It's our job to keep that from happening. To get to the beach, they gotta pass in front of the diner. Why don't you go to the beach first? You better keep your eyes peeled. This isn't a game. If this isn't a game, then what is it? I really should have just said no. Agree! Sitting at a table by the window, I rested my chin in my hands and absentmindedly stared out the window. Are they coming? Did they arrive? It hasn't even been ten minutes yet. 20 minutes passed, then 30 minutes. As time passed by, the only things that grew were the volume of my size and the weight of my regret. Yeah. Say, what kind of swimsuit do you think Miss Sonia will wear? Since she's a foreigner, how about a bikini? Don't you feel like there's a pure, innocent, mythical fantasy hiding between the top and bottom of a bikini? Even if I wanted to agree with you, I don't know how to answer that. Wait, huh? And that's when it happened. In the corner of my eye, a certain someone walked by the front of the diner. What? Huh? Isn't that... I wonder what happened. I guess I should head over. We left the diner in a hurry and ran to where that person was standing. <laughs> y you bastards! I knew it was you, Fuihiko. What are you doing here? That's my line. What the heck? You're awfully tense. Actually, why do you seem so flustered? <laughs> Who are you calling flustered? Don't go making false accusations, you bastard. Huh? Don't tell me. Aw oh, man, is that it? You overheard my plan, didn't you? Huh? Plan? Huh? It's no use playing dumb. You overheard my plan and followed us all the way here, right? Hey, what are you doing at this place? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. That's a strange combo. Huh. Hello! Um, today is another wonderful day. Well... You're not gonna get away now that I've caught you. Ah, I got so nervous I ended up blurting out something weird. Please don't hate me. I'll take the punishment as such as you like. Much as you like. Ah, yeah. uh, um, you two. This is such a coincidence. Um, I never expected to coincidentally run into you guys here. He really does suck at this. Yeah. Man, actually, Hajime and I were about to head to the beach together. 
Oh, could that be what you ladies are here for? That's such a coincidence. It even seems like destiny. Something's obviously suspicious. Your eyes are moving around like salmon before they lay eggs. No way. I'm always like this. Uh, how should I put it? I always pay attention to my surroundings. I can't keep watching this. As I s oh, sorry, microphone. As I sighed and looked away from that embarrassing sight, I realized that he had disappeared. Huh? Where did Fihiko go? Yeah. Well, regardless, you two have arrived pretty early. It's only 3.30 p.m. You still have about 30 minutes till you meet the others. Um, why do you know when we're going to meet the others? And you even know our damn meeting time. Oh. Well, you see... Anyway, let's cherish the coincidence that brought us together. So is it, is it, so is it okay if we join in too? Wow, he got forceful all of a sudden. So that's your ulterior motive. You're probably here for Sonya, aren't you? Uh, I really have no desire to do something so rude, like decline the offer at all. But Sonia was the one who planned to go to the beach, so we need to ask her. Then it's all good. It's too devastating to think Miss Sonia would decline, so I won't think it. Is he being an optimist or a pessimist? I don't really get it. Hey, hey, is it alright if we go inside now? Ibuki was going to eat a good meal first. That's why I came early. <laughs> sure thing. Let's wait inside. I can't take my mind off Fuhiko. Oh well, I've come this far. I can't turn back now. Yeah, I would watch him. I wouldn't leave him alone with them. Yeah, I always say something stupid when I get nervous. I'm not doing it on purpose. An army marches on its stomach while swimmers can only splash around on their stomachs too. I'm gonna hardly eat a hamburger with a side of rice. Is rice a side dish? Wait, is there even rice here? <laughs> Alright, let's wait inside until Miss Sonia arrives. Click. Bing, 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 bing. Bing, 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 bing. I returned to the diner and sat myself at the table near the window once again. Phew. Without thinking, I couldn't help letting out a big sigh. Uh, what are you guys going to do about your swimsuits? You aren't allowed to change in the beach house, you know? Y yes, that's why we're already wearing them. What's underneath this uniform is in panties. It's a swimsuit. Well, that's obvious. I also came wearing a swimsuit too. Huh? Really? Which reminds me. You're not wearing yours yet, huh? Then you gotta go to the bathroom so you can change. Here you go. This is yours. But what is this thing? Uh, um, it may be rude of me to say this, but th that looks a little too daring. What if something falls out? If this is airing live, you're totally going to get censored by the network. <laughs> Don't worry. Even at its worst, it won't turn into a live action drama. That's not the problem. What is it then? Are you telling me you don't want to match with me? It, it's matching? Then I definitely don't want to wear it. I love how Solda just cries all the time. <laughs> he would be charming if he wasn't a sicko. But that's true of... Uh, I'll speak about my game point analysis later. But I think he's the, the foil to Hanamura. Where it's like... He is so extreme and he looks like a beanie baby, so of course everyone hates him, but Soda is like charming and like cute and and he's like a haughty anime boy, so everybody likes him anyway, even though he's also like a weird sicko. Um and that's reflected in the fandom. People are like, Teru Teru's bad, but I love Kazuichi, and it's like, no, he's also a fucking weirdo. Anyway. Uh, I believe fighting is bad, so let's stop. Things are heating up something fierce. When's everyone gonna come? I hope they come soon. And as she said that, Ibuki peeked out the window. Huh? What is it? Look outside! Outside! What's outside? Isn't that Hyoko? Jeez. Thank you. Jeez, don't get my hopes up. I thought it was Miss Sonia. Doesn't she seem a little strange? She running. If I had to describe it as a song title, it'd be Sprint of Tears. Huh? 
Huh? It looks like she's running from the beach. Did something happen? Despite her questions, Hyoko ran by the front of the diner at full speed. What? She totally ran past us, but wasn't she part of the beach crew? Apparently she can't swim, so she turned us down. Oh. But she... Did she come running from the beach? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I don't really know all the details about that. <laughs> well, it just means women are full of surprises. Oh. Mahiru is the type to totally come, but she surprisingly turned us down too. Mahiru, she did? She turned it down? It's so unexpected of her not to join an event like this. In fact, she totally planned this sort of thing. But it can't be helped. Apparently she wasn't really feeling well. Um, I'm terribly sorry to continue this topic, but why was Hyoko crying? Why are you asking us? But if she was sprinting away from the beach and crying, something's definitely wrong. Hey. When'd you get here so suddenly? Kazuichi shout suddenly shouted, and what he was looking at was near the diner's entrance. As I turned around... My my, how disappointing. I thought if I came early, I'd be the first one to arrive. Her suit is so cute. I couldn't keep myself from staring like an idiot. <laughs> Whoa, Chucky, you're all, you came wearing only your swimsuit? I didn't want to carry it with me. If I did, it'd be a serious burden. Serious burden? That's a total exaggeration. <laughs> but even though you didn't want to carry anything, it looks like you're carrying something. She's so cute! She's going to have a beach adventure with her friends and she brought ice cream! Instead of bringing lunch for everyone, I brought ice cream. Um, it's not like I'm going to turn it down, but... Ice cream is completely different from lunch. I don't think it can be used as a substitute while well, you guys are at a diner. Also, I was thinking of stuff we could do at the beach together, so I brought a board game too. Should we play it even though we came all this way to go to the beach? Nah. I see. That's disappointing. But how should I say this? Is this what Gap Moe is supposed to be? For some reason, normally so quiet to so quiet to wear such a daring swimsuit it makes you a little excited, right, Hajime? Well, um, I don't know. That's what I said, but my heartbeat was actually getting faster and faster. <laughs> Seriously, man. I never expected Chiaki to have such huge jugs. That's the thing. Teenagers are obviously, like, horny at each other. But, like, come on, Soda. Be normal. I love her frown. Me too. Isn't she just an angel? <laughs> jugs? Uh, I didn't say that just now. It was Hajime. He's a pervert, you know? What are you saying? I mean, I have only advice for Miss Sonia. I dreamed of going out with the blonde lady ever since I was a kid. The size is a little small, but this was the only swimsuit that fit me. I don't look good in it? Huh? Well, no, I guess you look good. Then I'm glad, I guess. <laughs> wearing a bikini is sure daring, and you get bonus points for wearing a white one. My heart's not just thumping, it's thumping all sporadically, like ba dum thump, thump ba dum. It's probably a heart attack. And why aren't I mad that Ibuki's a pervert? Because she's cute, so handle it. Hey, hey, I kept you waiting. We heard a voice as the diner slowly opened, and the person who walked through it was. <laughs> hey, 
Okay, sorry to keep you guys waiting. Akane, what, what happened to you? What? Is something wrong? I made sure to wear a swimsuit this time. Not that! Your wounds! It, it wouldn't be strange if we nicknamed you Carrie right now. Uh oh, you're talking about these. <laughs> Calling him, she called him Osa. They're supposedly the same age. <laughs> On my way over here, I happen to run into Coach Nekomaru. And when that happens, I gotta fight him, you know? Why does she have to do that? Uh, are you really alright? Your head, it looks like it's split in half. <sighs> well, it'll heal as long as I rub some spit in it, right? You're totally playing up the power of human spit. <laughs> I'm all fired up now. I never knew such a strong opponent even existed. She's such a charming young lady. Anyway, you need to be treated. And you also need your wounds sterilized. Akane, please come with me. With an unusually forceful demeanor, Mikon pulled Akane into the bathroom. <laughs> That's why she's the ultimate nurse. Well, it's gonna be okay if I leave it to her. What is all this ruckus? Oh, who is it this time? Hmm? Hajime and Kazuichi, why are you two here? Hey, aren't you breathing pretty heavily? Well, she's clearly, like, been in the ocean, you dumb fuck. You dumb fuck! I just did a little swimming. A little swimming? I swam around the island for about three hours. I love Ibuki. That's too obvious for me not to comment on. That's definitely not a little swimming. Why are you already swimming? You guys are about to swim now, right? Isn't that why you're all meeting up? It wasn't for my enjoyment. I was trying to see if I could swim to a different island. Huh? But I couldn't find any other islands. It seems it may be difficult to leave this island by swimming. If you didn't see anything after you swim for three hours, it's more than difficult. It's impossible. Yeah, that may be true. I love Peko. She's pretty. Hey, Hajime. I just really love the, the painted art style. Even when it's like perf, perf, perf pick, I'm like, wow, it's pretty and everyone's so cute. Hmm? What? A woman with wet, slick back hair is pretty fine too, huh? And this body too, man. <laughs> Young ladies are sure well endowed nowadays. Is that a challenge against all the women in the world? <laughs> Ibuki. <laughs> Fine. Ibuki accepts that challenge with the power of technology. Time to pump these puppies full of silicon. Silicon. Don't say such asinine things. <laughs> anyway, it looks like everyone's almost here, and it's already past 4 p.m. If so, all that's left is... Uh, I am terribly sorry for my delay. 
Whoa! Miss Sonia's here! He's doubled down on excitement? Alright, what kind of sexy swimsuit is Miss Sonia wearing? Got his ass. Gah! It's a wetsuit! It is to prevent sunburn. I do not want my skin to be sun damaged. However, as I have never worn a wetsuit before, I had a hard time putting it on, which resulted in my delay. Really? It is my bad. I see. A wetsuit. Well, Miss Sonia does have beautiful white skin. Ugh, but that tight outfit of hers is amazing. Just what I'd expect from a 100% purebred princess. This guy, he's so quick to recover. Um, anyway, why are you two here? I'll answer that, Miss Sonia. I'll be honest. If you're gonna go to the beach, please let us come with you. Well... This was originally supposed to be a girl's only outing to strengthen our friendship with each other. Do you think you can make an exception? Pretty please! Well, it's okay. It's not like there'd be any problems even if there's some boys. I don't agree with that. You're right. They came all the way here. It would be bad if we made them leave. Ack! Miss Sonia is just so kind! Alright, now that it's decided, let's get going. But Akane's wounds are still being treated. Shut up. There's no way I can just stand around. I'll go on ahead and prepare. I'll set up the parasol and prepare the drinks. I mean it. I promise I'll give it my all to serve, serve you so everyone has fun. With an abnormal amount of gusto, he bolted out of the diner. Uh, um. I'm surrounded by girls in swimsuits. This is a little awkward. Well then put on your outfit. I, I should go help Kazuichi too. As I mumbled my excuse, I ran out of the diner, almost as if I were escaping. He didn't put on his outfit. He's gonna get in trouble if he tries to change in the house. Babe, you're gonna get in trouble if you try to change in the house. Chandler Beach. Could it be any more beach? Uh-oh, ding dong dong ding. Huh? Th that bell just now. Could it be? A body has been discovered. Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin. A, a body? That's a lie! Impossible! Someone! Someone come here! That was definitely Kazuichi's voice just now. It sounds like he's nearby. Did that scream just now come from here? Cautiously, I reached my hand toward the doorknob. As I twisted the doorknob and tried to open the door. Clatter, clatter, clatter. It won't open? It's locked. No, this is different. It's like something's blocking the door from the other side. What does this mean? Uh, I don't want any of our friends to be dead. <laughs> Maybe we should just quit here and think that they all had a good day at the beach. Kazuichi's scream. Did I really hear it coming from here? No. What am I being nervous about? There's no reason for me to be nervous. A body discovery announcement? I won't believe it. I'm not going to believe it. There's no way I'll believe it. Who would believe something like that? Okay, Hanamura. As I raised my voice, I swiftly stepped- Swiftly? Oh my god. Stepped inside the beach house. I won't believe it. The moment I stepped inside the beach house, those words mercilessly shattered into pieces. <gasps> it's just like Girl E! If this was all a dream, when did I... when did I begin dreaming? This is reality. Why is Mahiru on the floor covered in blood? My baby. I 
couldn't understand anything that was in front of me. And I couldn't believe in anything. <laughs> Seeing punishment, sin, and coconuts, deadly light. Okay, let's. Hello, call it here. We've discovered a body. It's our good friend. Um, we already did the Monomi, so we won't. We'll do it later. Thank you for joining. I'm sorry you had to witness such a thing. But such is the game of Danganronpa. Where we watch our friends get murdered after we have a nice day having them yell at us because they don't actually like us very much. Have a very good afternoon, evening. And I will return tomorrow. And... Maybe sooner than that, if I rest my throat, I, I really want to play game. But, you know, keep you updated on Behunt underscore Benny on Tumblr. Okay, bye-bye. I love you. You have a nice day, too.